Welcome to your July 2019 horoscope with me, Stella Wild. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified of my new videos as soon as I release them. I upload two to three videos per week on tarot, astrology, and manifestation. All the information is in the description for booking a private reading with me. You might also want to watch the videos that correspond to your rising moon and Venus signs for a fuller picture. I'll leave a link in the description for the blog post where you can read a transcript of all the forecasts. First, I'll give a brief overview of the collective energies and then I'll get into your individual sun sign forecast. July's energies are about trusting that what is meant for us will arrive in its own appointed hour. We'll need to accept that not every flower bears fruit, no matter how badly we want it to. As Mercury goes retrograde on July 7th until August 2nd, we'll see that delay is sometimes designed by fate. Yes, the fresh start promised by the new moon solar eclipse in July will happen, but the universe needs us to sort through a few things this month first. On July 2nd, the new moon solar eclipse will affect wherever you have cancer in your chart. The energy of this eclipse is clean, so to speak, and doesn't have any harsh aspects. There is a wide sextile to Uranus and Taurus, so surprising news regarding some structure, institution, way of life that you found comforting or secure could surface. But the information is designed to motivate you. Knowledge is power, and this revelation will set you on an entirely new direction in your life. However, before you can get onto the road of personal growth and change, Mercury is going retrograde, and the second eclipse arrives. On July 16th, a partial lunar eclipse in Capricorn conjunct Pluto will rattle everyone's chain. Ghosts from the past resurface, maybe even to apologize, but you're so over it that their words do not move you. There's the feeling of too little too late in whatever way this energy plays out in your life. Justice will be served on a karmic platter of epic proportions. Whoever thought they could get away with their shady shenanigans will have a cosmically rude awakening. Yet even this justice is tinged a bit with sadness. At the lunar eclipse, this test from the universe is to see if you're really over it. Him, her, the house, the job, the grudge, the betrayal, the bullshit. Will you pass it? Will you pass this test with flying colors? We'll see. And now your individual sun sign horoscope for July 2019. Fresh new energy is on its way, Taurus, in your third house, which is all about your daily environment, what you're creating and who you're sharing those creations with. The third house is ruled by Gemini, so a new moon solar eclipse in this area can bring about a new writing and or marketing project, a new course of study, a boost in sales and short enjoyable trips. You may buy a, car, a new car around this time, just make sure to do so before Mercury goes retrograde on July 7th. Your mind is buzzing with new ideas to help you make your mark on the world. You may be drawn to new ways to use technology to boost your business and your reputation. This new moon solar eclipse will enhance your appreciation for communication and you will start to see the benefits of being more open and sharing of your personal truth, whether in business or in your personal life. At the full moon lunar eclipse on July 16th, your ninth house of vision and wisdom brings an end to a matter that has been troubling you. You will be released from a situation that has tested you morally and spiritually, but if you have acted with integrity, then there's nothing to fear. The release will free up your energy to expand and manifest many new opportunities. You will be amazed at how much more energy you have once this situation is resolved. Your intuition will be enhanced at this full moon and you may have a powerful premonition. The universe is definitely trying to get your attention on moving to the next level of your spiritual growth. An idea for a book, course, or way that you can share your spiritual knowledge with others may come to you in July. Don't be immediately dismissive of it, Taurus. 
In the future, this idea can not only change your life, but the lives of others as well and bring you the abundance you've been seeking. Taurus, let me know in the comments what's going on for you with this energy. And of course, if you need support navigating a personal situation, please book a private reading with me. Take care, Taurus, and I'll speak to you again soon.